Hello everyone, welcome back to Starkey Farmstead. So, you guys know how the CIA came up with the term conspiracy theorist. And you guys know they leak information out on social media platforms to get everybody up in a huff and a puff. I was given this story three days ago that the woman, the mysterious woman, sitting behind Trump. I did nothing with it didn't go forward with it. I didn't mention it. I think I might have showed one tiny clip and I was like, let's talk about that later. Because I had no way of verifying who that woman was. And my integrity is more important to me than getting views and clickbait. I saw this today. What the fuck? What the fuck? People are freaking out. And she's filming. And she's just like, right. Wait until you see who she is, dude. Wait until you see who she is. Let's watch this other this other clip because I actually don't on that last part because I don't know. But I'm gonna comment on this. Say, so you ready to see who that uh, reportedly was behind Trump? Breaking news: uh, the woman in this video behind Donald Trump, where many viewers accused her of giving the shooter instructions, has allegedly been identified as FBI Assistant Director Janine Digwiseppi. I mean, like, doesn't America want to believe that? Like, we are frothing at the mouth to believe the FBI assistant director flagged the second gunman. We got the FBI in our crosshairs. The woman, everybody's trying to say this is, Janine, she's highly educated, folks. Like, highly educated. Two master's degrees. Yeah. Like a very efficient head of security, head of child trafficking, folks. This woman's been all over the world. She's held a lot of titles, okay? Here's the thing. She's also very heavy set. She's not that skinny woman. And I'm not the only one saying it. Watch this. So you can see that their noses are entirely different. And then we did some even further digging and we were able to discover who in fact that woman is. And I'm not going to give her name because she is a private citizen, but I will show you a photo of who was sitting in the audience that day. And by the way, she ID'd herself because she went and put videos on TikTok uh, regarding her presence when Trump was shot. And now you can see that that is definitively that girl. You can see that that is the woman and that she um, is wearing the same ring that she has on in the footage of Trump's assassination attempt. So I can tell you, having gone through her Instagram, which is still public. It is important for people to be reporters. It's important to dig through videos, pictures, watching things, checking things. It is not okay to just say you see a picture of somebody and you assume it's somebody else. These are not the same two women, folks. And this has been seen by over 5 million people claiming that this woman, you know, set off the second shooter. She was part of the assassination. And that's simply not okay. Now, some things that we do know, so Senator Halley told us most of his security detail were not secret service. So an ex-president running for president with 26 attempts on his life already Got like the sidekicks? I mean, is that what we're doing now? Just gonna give him the anybody's? I mean, I'm not being ugly, but how did this woman even pass the physical? I mean, isn't there a physical? How would she defend herself against a man six foot tall, 220 pounds? He just wiped the floors with this. This looks like a mama that needs to be at home making cookies. Okay, I made a video earlier today telling you to get rid of your mortgages. Pay them off, folks. And people really push back. They're like, what are you saying? Like, the bank can come in and force us to pay the whole mortgage at once? Yeah, I am. It's called an acceleration clause. Every single one of you that have a mortgage, you agreed to this. Yeah, I'm not joking. No, I'm not. I'm being dead serious. Mortgage is also death pledge. That is the meaning of the word mortgage. It means death pledge. So let me explain to you. If America goes into another Great Depression or a severe economic downturn and you stop paying your mortgage, of course you know they can foreclose on you. They'll send you a letter saying, hey, you owe us the remainder of your mortgage, right? But there's other ways they can do it. 
okay? They can do it if you drop your home insurance. They can do it if there's a disaster. Yeah. What? What'd you say, Sam? Yes, I did. I just told you that. In fact, guys, they have way more power than you think. See, when you signed that mortgage, you thought in your mind, I don't need to read this 28 page packet that they just gave me. I'm just gonna sign the mortgage. I'm gonna agree to $1,600 a month for the next 30 years. And I'm not gonna worry about it. As long as I make that $1,600 payment, no one's ever gonna come take my house. Okay, you keep believing that. I want you to do a little homework for me. I want you to go type in Great Depression homeowners required to pay mortgage in full, okay? Type in something to like that and watch what you read. They called in the full mortgages on hundreds of thousands of Americans city by city during the Great Depression. Why do you think so many people were homeless? They had homes. So why were so many people homeless? Because the banks were in on it, folks. So I just want you to take it one step further. Who's in this country that shouldn't be? That California has now given 0% interest home in, homeowners, right? They can go get a loan, 0% interest. You can't, but they can. Who is that? Illegal aliens. You tell me. Tell me now that the Democrats are your friends. You had better get your head out the ground. I'm telling you. I know what you're going to say. Well, that's not fair. The mortgage company shouldn't be able to do that. Why not? You borrowed money from them. They didn't twist your arms. They didn't force your hand to sign that mortgage. You willingly went to them. And what does the Bible tell you? The borrower is a slave to the lender. You put you in that position, friend. I'm not trying to be ugly. I love you. If I didn't care, if I truly didn't care, I'd go eat my ice cream in my house with my husband and let it all happen. But I do care. I care that truth prevails at all times. God tells me not to bear false witness. I am not going to keep my mouth shut while people accuse this woman, this FBI agent who has earned her position. She's no DEI hire, boo. This woman earned her position, and she's good at it. And I can keep my mouth shut while people slander her because they're just digging because you've got no life, I guess. I don't know. But, like, you just can't believe everything you're hearing. That's why I tell you guys, go look it up yourself. I literally had a woman ask me 15 questions today, the same question over and over and over again, and trying to act like the people who owed on their mortgage were the victims. You're not. You willingly took out that loan. I don't know. Truth hurts. It's not popular. I can tell you that. Do you guys like to support our mission trip to Maui? We're leaving August 1st. Getting close, getting close. Going to meet the king, the king, the king, the king. Cannot wait. We're going for the sovereignty movement and to be there for the one-year memorials that's going to happen on the island because we're there to, to bring the truth, okay? Not conspiracy theories. The truth. On top of that, our newsletter comes out twice a month. You donate anything, you're going to get that for six months. And I'm telling you, we say a lot in our newsletter. We can't say here. God bless you. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. It needs the truth needs to get out, folks. So not okay. All right. I get it. We all are angry. We all want to know who's responsible for this. Do you know the, C the CIA probably leaked that crap and everybody just gobbled it up. Come on, folks, critical thinking skills, critical thinking skills.